Welcome back, Wind Wakers, to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. I'm Scott, and you're at the Scott Spot channel. Okay, so in the last episode, we um, began doing the trading quest. We traded the town flower to the Goron on Bomb Island for a sea flower. And now we're going to give the sea flower to this Goron for what would hopefully be... Well, oh shit, I just realized the ghost ship is over there. Well... I would go check it out, but you guys have already seen. I've shown off the ghost ship before, so yeah. Got some arrows in here, and let's see what does this, this Goron have anything interesting to say? Uh, oh yeah, this is the one that's looking for that shop guru statue, mystical curio. He's been seeking for ages now. It's said to be a statue of the most incredible of men, a man who has long reigned at the peak of the business world. But why would you have it? I've heard there are traveling merchants on the mother and child isles and on Bomb Island. I wonder if either of those guys might have it. I guess we'll never know. Oh, If someone would just trade that most excellent item to me, I would offer them a heart-filled reward in return. Dude, I don't want your love. Actually, he probably means a piece of heart. But yeah, let's uh, show him this sea flower. See if he has anything to say. Huh? That's... A sea flower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this exotic flower? Um, yeah. Actually, I kind of like the exotic flower. They're all like pink and shit and exotic and all that stuff. Most worthy, then my fee will be... Ooh, I'll give you a huge deal on this. 25 rupees will do just fine. Hey, it's a deal. Thanks, that settles things. I'll give you your item as I promised. Hold out both hands. And we got an exotic flower. It's a refreshing flower that blossoms in the tropical regions to the south. I wonder what tropical regions that could be. Like, the only place to the south is Outset Island, so it must be a region that you don't get to go to in this game. Yeah, if we can find a place to put it, it goes in the delivery bag. So, by trading your goods for my goods, we've formed a merchant's oath. I feel like I should put like some dramatic music here or something. <laughs> As such, from now on I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. How, you ask? Why, my good pal the postman will take it there for me, so it will likely get there before you do. Just head back to Windfall and see for yourself. Thanks again. Oh, oh. Sorry, that's my ocarina of time. Slash Majora's Mask Goron voice. All right, we got another tingle bottle here. Um, all right. So after you get the sea flower or the exotic flower, I mean, you want to take it to the Goron on um, Mother and Child Owls. Oh, right, we're actually gonna have to sail right past the uh, ghost ship here. Hey, ghost ship. You're not creepy at all. Uh, let's see, make sure we're going the right way here. Yep, okay. So I'm going to head there, and I'll just meet you guys there. The rest of this video, well, maybe not the rest of it, will just be uh, me showing you what you, I get from each Goron. Alright, I will meet you there. Alright, we are now approaching the Mother and Child Isles, and since this is the first time we've dealt with this Goron merchant, I figure we'll go ahead and talk to him, see if he has anything interesting to say. Another tingle bottle for me. Oh, it looks like the Deku tree on this little elite has grown. Or at least come up from being a twig, anyway. Alright, hey, Goron. Have I talked to you before? I like your pointy hat. I'm what's called a traveling merchant. Just a poor wanderer cruising the world in search of rare objects of all sorts. New and old, strange and unsettling. I detected a scent wafting from this island that suggested to me that there might be something of value here. So I sailed my tiny raft all this way from far, far away. I know that there's an island in Phantom Hourglass that I believe is just called Goron Island, so I wonder if these guys came from there. But the high rock wall on the main island blocks my way, so it seems as though I won't be able to get much farther. What a disagreeable turn of events. Yeah, you can't get to the Fairy Queen, I guess. However, my boy, that delivery bag of yours smells to me as if it might well be home to rare and unique items. Just a letter, I believe, and the exotic flower. <laughs> if you have any curios that might be worthy of selling in a shop, might you trade them to me? Someday I'm going to open myself a shop. A huge shop. No! A mega superstore! And this is how Walmart started, folks. <laughs> I'm trying to find goods to sell, so you can show me what you've got on you. Okay, well, how about an exotic flower, dude? Huh? Why, that's an exotic flower, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this pinwheel? I would always be more impressed with the pinwheels if the, wind, the wheels actually turned, although I think they do once you place them down. But sure, let's do it. And this is actually not the most direct route to get the piece of heart from this uh, trading quest, but there are a few items that you don't have to trade for, and we, we want to be able to have all the items uh, sellable in 
Zunari shot on Windfall Island for this to be like 100%. Anyway, most agreeable. Then my fee will be? Well, that thing you've got doesn't look so hot, so I'll need 55 rupees for mine. Damn, that's a lot of money. I didn't expect it to be that much. Thanks. That squares us. Here's your item as promised. Hold out both of your hands. You got a pinwheel. The wheel on it spins when it catches puffs of air. It's kind of fun. Okay. If you find a place, I don't care. Uh, we've already seen the whole merchant's oath shtick. Alright, so that actually um, completes the uh, the first leg of this subquest because once you have traded, made uh, three trades, I don't know if it's three trades or if you have to have traded with every Goron or whatever, but after that you can get uh, a reward. So let's head back to Windfall Island to claim that from Zunari. Windfall Island, here we come. Even though it's dark, so I'll probably have to um, change the, the time of day here in a sec. I'm tempted to just cut, but I mean, it's so close. It needs such a quick cut. It is dark here, but we can deal with that. And here we go. Let's play the Sun Song or the Song of Passing, I mean. Wait, is it not that? Okay, wait. The Song of Passing is right, left, down. Wow, you can tell it's been a while since I played this, huh? The King of Red Lines is kind of just watching me over there. It's kind of creepy, actually. Okay, and now it is the lively, bustling daytime. Let's go see, uh, Zunari, huh? Just gotta roll there as quickly as possible. Ding, ding. And I'm glad we came back anyway, because I actually meant to, um, take a pictograph of Mila while I was here earlier. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, hey, I'm trying to take a picture of you, girl. Even if you do look like you're in rags now. Oh yeah, so you can see that you can buy the town flower, the sea flower, the exotic flower, and the pinwheel back there now. Yes, yes, young master, look! Already my shop has a wide variety of products to choose from. It is a cornucopia! Thanks to you, young master, every morning the postman comes with packages from the traveling salesman you traded with. At last, my humble stall has the appearance of a full-fledged store. My dear, your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the success of my business. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you from the very bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession, next to my hoodie coat, of course. I don't even know why you're wearing that here. It is none other than... It is none other than the Zunari family treasure. Please accept it. The fact that he says the Zunari family treasure makes me wonder if his last name is Zunari. But anyway, they got the magic armor. Use your rupees to create a barrier around you that protects you from enemy attacks. You won't expend rupees unless you take damage from an enemy or other hazard. Blah blah. So this is kind of like the, uh, I think it's called the magic armor in Twilight Princess. Except for it doesn't constantly expend rupees or slow you down when you run out. I think, anyway. This is the only heirloom I brought with me when I moved here from my hometown. Well, excluding the lovely sail you purchased from me earlier, of course. It is a magical heirloom, one that has a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. Of course, you can use it even when you are sailing the open seas. My dear, please, use this to protect yourself as you seek out more merchants. I beg of you. And please, be on the constant lookout for new and exciting products. Not that I have anything left to reward you with if you find any. Yeah, well, there is more a reason to keep going with this quest, though, because you can get a piece of heart out of it if you keep trading. Alright, so here's one of our new quest items. Let's go ahead and equip it. And see, it puts up this magic barrier around you, but it doesn't expend rupees like uh, the magic armor in Twilight Princess did. And another thing to note about the magic armor is that, um... Actually, you know what? Let's hurt a, see if we can't hurt a pig to test this thing out. The cool thing about, um... In the original version of this game, I believe the magic armor used magic, so there was like, you never wanted to use it. Oh look, they got two pigs right here. Well, I feel bad attacking them, but what else are you going to do? Alright, let's see how I don't know how much rupees it actually uses, though. Alright, here they come. Wow, that was like a lot of rupees. Did you see that? I don't know if I took damage twice, but damn. But yeah, that's going to be... I don't know how often I'll use that, but it's nice to have, especially now that we, uh, later in the game, we won't have a use for rupees at all. There'll be no reason to save them up, so that'll be a good reason to start using the uh, magic armor. Honestly, though, it would have been useful to get that more towards the earlier part of the game, when I uh, was dying a lot, and because I had less hearts, you know. 
But anyway, oh shit, I was getting ready to leave, but I forgot there was one other thing that I wanted to do here. Um, I actually want to go ahead and get a few more legendary pictographs because there should be a few more available now. So, I don't know what phase of the moon it is. Let me see if I can't... Oh, that's a great camera angle. As we know, uh, Lenzo sells these legendary pictographs at night, and what pictograph he sells depends on the moon. And now that we've gotten a little further in the story, there it won't be a spoiler to sell some of these. And this is actually good, because the first one I wanted to get is on the night of a full moon. I won't have to do any uh, jump cuts here. Neat. By the way, sorry to be doing this in the middle of the trading quest video, but when else am I going to do it? Alright, Lenzo, I think I need to show you my pictograph box, right? Link, would you care for another of my legendary pictographs? Today I prepared a pictograph of Ganondorf, the King of Evil. I wonder how he knows him. If you have any open pictograph slots, I will place the image in your deluxe picto box. Let me see it for a moment, will you? I want to know, like, when when did Ganondorf get a chance to, like, pose for this pictograph? Here, take it. He's going to charge me 50 rupees, though, of course. Blah, blah, blah. The hasty, Dunk can't give it to me for free. Damn, I forgot how much he charges for these shit. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. I have received my payment, so now, without delay, I just stick this here and here we go. Got a legendary pictograph. For me, every day is pictography day. I cannot wait for tomorrow to come. So let's see what this thing looks like. Wow, he got taken from the side. I wonder when somebody had a chance to take that. But anyway, um, even though the next two pictographs that I want are should be actually. Uh, the next one we want is going to be on nights when the left side of the moon is gone, like the only the right half remains. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and do that, and I will cut and meet you when the phase of the moon is right. Okay, so this should be the one we're missing. Okay, a little piece of the left half of the moon is missing, which is what we wanted. So we should be able to get the legendary pictograph for tonight now. Let's see if uh, Linzo will tell us who it is of. Uh, another, today I prepared a pictograph of the great King of Hyrule. I do have open pictograph slots, although this isn't who I was expecting, so I hope I didn't accidentally skip the night of the other one. Uh, give me, yeah, 150 rupees, blah blah blah. I'll pay. Alright, um, so yeah, we got a pictograph of the King of Hyrule. And I wonder how Lenzo even knows like who all these people are. I guess traveling the Great Sea for wow, that's a kind of a scary looking picture. Anyway, all right, so we got the King of Hyrule pictograph, and there should be one more we can get right now. Um, and I'm hoping that it is on the next night of the moon. So I will meet you in just a moment. All right, I think that this should be... Okay, yeah, when it's a left crescent moon is when you want to um, go in for the pictograph on this one. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, I got mixed up here. I need to... Yeah, anyway. So this should be the last one we can get for the time being. Today I have prepared a pictograph of the Queen of Fairies. And of course, Lenzo knows who the Queen of Fairies is, as always. But I shall gladly pay... 150 rupees. Actually, gladly is a strong word, but, I mean, what else are you going to spend your rupees on? Actually, the thing that we're going to spend most of our rupees on in the game is coming up uh, before too long, so look forward to that. But here's what, uh, oh, that's a pretty good pictograph, I guess. I wonder, <laughs> she's not even looking at whoever was taking a pictograph. I want to know who took these, because they are talented. Alright, so with those, we got those three legendary pictographs now. So let's uh, continue the trading quest. I'm going to try to do the rest of these in quick succession, just so I can fit the rest of the trading quest into this video. So, um, the next one is at um, Balm Island. We're going to trade the pinwheel to him. So I will meet you there. Okay, we're going to show this Goron the pinwheel. Huh? Why that's a pinwheel, isn't it? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this sickle moon flag? That's pretty cool. It's like a Japanese looking thing. Uh, and then the fee will be 40 rupees. That's not too bad. Alright, so there's that one. And the next one is going to be trading the Sickle Moon flag to the Goron on Child Isle. So I'll meet you there. You got the Sickle Moon flag. This flag of a bright red crescent moon is quite fancy. You found a place to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care. Don't care about your merchant south either, Goron. Okay, and here we are on Child Isle. So let's see what this Goron will give us for the Sickle Moon flag. Why, that's... Yeah, it's a Sickle Moon flag. That's what I just said. Didn't you hear me? And he will give us a big catch flag for that one, which is like a flag of inspiring big 
catch, uh, fish catches. There's a marlin on it. Although, there are no marlins in this game, but I'm pretty sure there are in Phantom Hourglass, so... Oh my god, that thing you gave me looks kind of old, so I'll need 85 rupees in exchange, okay? Good lord. I'm, he's, I don't remember these prices being that much, but... Oh well, good thing I had plenty of them. We got the big catch flag. This flag was made by a fisherman from a foreign land and designed to encourage a big haul of fish. Oh yeah. Okay, I think I just said that. Anyway, enough with your oath. Man, the way I'm like trading in the cover of night almost makes me feel like I'm doing some drug deals. But anyway, uh, next we want to go to Bomb Island again, which is where we just came from, and trade the big catch flag for an item there. So, I will meet you there. And we are now at Bomb Island. And we're going to give the, uh, oh well, I guess it didn't target him first. Why would I want to throw that away? Oh man, I almost did throw it away on accident. But anyway, let's trade it to him. And a new dawn is arising. Yeah, it's a big catch flag. And for this, you better give me a skull tower. Oh, a fountain idol. That's actually what I wanted. This one's kind of cool because like water spills out of it when you set it down. Sure. Then my fee will be... Yours is a little blemish there, so I'll need 65 rupees in return. Man, they're going to clean me out by the time this trading quest is over. Alright, give me my fountain idol. You got a fountain idol. This is a strange statue of a girl carrying water. Why is it strange? Alright, so we want to take this to Greatfish Isle. So I'll see you there. And now we're back at Greatfish. So let's give him the, the uh, fountain idol. That's, yeah, fountain idol. And he's going to give us a skull tower idol, which is really crazy looking. Like, I have no idea what those skulls are supposed to be. I guess bubbles, maybe? I guess bubbles have uh, bones in their wings, too. Weird. And the fee is going to be, the colors on that thing you're offering have faded most terribly. So 60 rupees. Oh my god. Man, I thought, actually, you know, the fountain idol, look, you would think that would be more valuable than the skull idol, but maybe those skulls are valuable. You got a skull tower idol. It's made of the fossilized skulls of strange creatures. It's pretty weird. <laughs> it's like I can know what the game is going to say about them. But anyway, so we've done that, and now we want to take the skull tower idol to child isle and trade it to the Goron there. So, here we go again. Meanwhile, back on Child Isle. Alright, let's see what this Goron wants with a Skull Tower Idol. I like how these idols are a lot smaller when they're in your hand. But yeah, it's a Skull Tower Idol, and for that, this guy should give us a Big Sail Flag. And I like this one. It's supposed to be Big Sail because it's like red and blue, so like the contrasting colors are all actually complementary. Uh, yeah, I've got a cheap deal for you. How about 35 rupees? Which makes sense, because I think the flags are actually worth a lot less than the idols, or statues, or whatever. So yeah, we got a big sail flag. This flag looks like it would definitely be good for business. We'll probably use one of those at some point. Alright. So, then we want to take this one to back to Bomb Island to trade it there. So, here we go. Here we are back at Bomb Island, and the big sail flag goes to this big guy. And yeah, it's a big sail flag, like I said before. And he's going to give us a hero's flag for that, which I guess the two swords costs are supposed to be heroes. And the fee is going to be... Yours has some cracks in it, so I'll need 75 rupees on top of the trade. How does the flag have cracks in it? Oh well, fuck that guy. Alright, give me the item, damn it. You got the hero's flag. This flag has a rather courageous feel to it. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to take this back to Greatfish Isle to trade it for something there. And... We don't only have a couple more steps left in this uh, sequence, guys. <laughs> so, let's go. Back at Great Fish, let's give the uh, hero's flag to this guy. The sun is, like, really brightening up now. Yeah, it's a hero's flag, and he's going to give us a postman statue in exchange, which looks like a uh, Rito totem pole, <laughs> which makes sense. If he's going to be, hmm, I'll need at least 100 rupees for this one, I'm afraid. Yeah, just keep cleaning me out. I don't need those rupees. Actually, I am going to need them pretty soon. Alright, so we got the Postman statue. It's a carving of the Rito Postman. Hero of all Ritos and a symbol of laborers the world over. Why is the Rito Postman the hero of all Ritos? Because aren't most of them Postmen? Either that or they just deal with the mail. Hey, I see another Tingle Bottle over there. I'm going to go get that. And then we have um, two more steps to this. So let's go give... Um, take this one to Child Isle, a couple squares north of here. Meet you there. All right, we have brought the postman statue to Child Isle, so let's uh, see if this guy can give us anything good for it. Why, that's a postman statue, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this shop guru statue? Man, this guy must really want the postman statue. It's actually pretty cool, though, because... Uh, and notice that the uh, shop guru up there is actually Zanari, so I wonder if he's like a hero among Gorons. 
Most agreeable. And my fee will be? Yeah, this is super rare, so how about 200 rupees? Yeah, unfortunately I have to do that. Thanks, that squares us. Here's your item as promised. Hey, right, so we got the Shop Guru statue, which is actually the last trading item. This little statue is the apple of every businessman's eye. Find a place to put it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So by trading your goods for my goods, I'm reading this this time since it's the last time we'll see this. You and I have formed a merchant's oath. So from this moment forward, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. Thanks again. Alrighty. So, that's the last one. But as you remember, the uh, Goron at Great Fish Isle, where we just came from, uh, actually wanted a Shop Guru statue in particular. So let's uh, go take that to him, huh? Yeah, Great Fish Isle, here we come. Alright, here we are at Great Fish Isle on this guy's raft, which he apparently doesn't ever take anywhere. So let's hand over the Shop Guru statue. Is... is that... it couldn't be! The Shop Guru statue? Such a divine figure! Surely this is none other than the legendary individual who reigns at the peak of the business world! Oh, most worthy day! He does seem like a good shopkeeper, but it's funny because Zunari like, owns like a little stall on Windfall Island. Wow, my lifelong dream is at last long come true. Such joy. This is my thanks to you for fulfilling my dream. It's a heart-filled reward brimming with gratitude. Alright, hold out your hands. What if you gave me like a little trinket souvenir that didn't mean anything? <laughs> but yeah, this is a piece of heart number... What number is it? Number 35. My, but I have received a worthy item. Tonight, I will hold this close to my bosom as I sleep. I can't wait. Oh, I'm glad he got his Shop Guru statue. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, though. My heart-filled reward has touched your heart, hasn't it? Yeah, it sure has. All right, so that's the end of the trading sequence. As, um, like I said, there are more direct and cheaper ways to um, do it, but we wanted to make sure we got all the items in the trading sequence. Now, I know this video has already ran a little long, but we actually want to go back to Windfall Island because I want to show you guys something real quick. So, I'm going to just meet you back at Zunari's stall, okay? Here we are at Zunari's stall, and man, look how lively this place has gotten. We got the town flower, the sea flower, the exotic flower, all the different stuff. This way to the only stall with extra fun, happy things for sale. Your happiness is guaranteed. Fun awaits you. Step right up. Stop by. What about you, Zunari? Yes, yes, yes. It is another fine day, is it not? Days like this are best spent shopping. Alright, so let's see what he has to say about each of these. Do not look at- oh yeah, each uh, stall is like its own product. So let's see the description for each of the items while we're here. Um, let's see, we got the town flower, a flower from the town of Bright Smiles. Use it to decorate the town with joy. Sea flower, the aroma of the sea wafts out of this flower that hails from a faraway land. Use it to adorn the town with a sea breeze. An exotic flower, which is an exotic flower from a tropical island. Trim the town with a summer breeze. So wait, we got a joy, sea breeze, and a summer breeze. I would rather put the summer breeze all around, but oh well. Let's see what he has to say about the flags. Alright. Oh, there we got several flags here. Hero's flag, a flag with a bold feel to it. 75 rubies, jeez. Use it to cover the town in courage. You can use the big catch flag to cover, decorate the town with fish. That's what everybody wants, right? A flag from a festival in which fishermen hope for a good catch. Big sale flag. You won't find this flag cheaper than this. Decorate the town with the theme of a big bargain sale. Yeah, because that's what we want to do, is bring even more commerce to this island. we got the pinwheel, which is actually kind of cool since the wind actually affects it. A tiny windmill that catches the wind and then spins and spins. Use it to send gentle breezes through the town. we got the sickle moon flag, 40 rupees, a showy flag in the shape of a crescent moon. Use it to decorate the town with a salute to the night sky. Oh, that would be cool at night, I guess. Skull tower idol. The fossilized skulls of weird creatures. Use it to give the town a mysterious feel. <laughs> yeah, let's make this place like a freaking crypt. And we got the expensive shit over here. The idols. We got, um, the fountain idol, a sculpture of mysteriously bubbling water. Use it to cover the town in ocean blue. The postman statue, 100 rupees. A wooden carving of the postman from Dragon Roost Isle. Use it to populate the town of Ritos. And the shop guru statue was, uh, 200 rupees. The pride and joy of all merchants. Decorate the town with me! <laughs> Apparently he knows about this. Alright, so what we're gonna do... My dear, thank you so much! is actually buy as many of these shop guru statues as we can afford. I was thinking they were 500 rupees each, so I'm actually pretty surprised about this. Now you may be wondering why we're doing this, but I will t explain momentarily. Let me just buy as many as I can afford. Actually, I'll just cut to after I bought... Oh, my bag is quite full, okay. It looks like your bag is quite the full, is it not? Yes, it is. I can only put a maximum of three of my products in your bag. 
Come back after you use up all of them. Oh, why? Why is that? I wonder. That's pretty annoying. All right, so let's equip them. Delivery bag. Y. X and R. All right, so the reason normally I used to like. There's a side quest that involves decorating all these little pedestals with shop guru statues, like so. Let's put another one down. Um, but I'm a masochist, and this is a 100% file, so we're going to decorate every single pedestal with shop guru statues. And that'll give us something to use our freaking rubies on. Have you seen the small metal pedestals all around town? They call those joy pendants. Yeah, they got installed a little while ago by the newly formed Joyous Volunteer Association. It's part of this grand plan to help decorate the town. Anyway, they're brilliant. I may as well tell you that both myself and Zunari, the guy who runs that stall over there, are members. You just have to be a part of stuff like this. Yeah, I guess so. So I don't think you have to decorate the entire town, but most you do have to decorate most of it to get uh, the reward for this. And this is Sam, and once you decorate the island to a certain percentage, um, he gives you a reward. So I'm not going to bore you guys with just showing me putting down the shop guru statues everywhere, but just know that every time I get... I come back to Windfall Island or I fill up on rupees, I'm going to come back here and buy more Shop Guru statues to continue decorating the island with. And make sure you look inside the different areas because there are um, shop or pedestals in the interior areas as well. And also there are even a couple at Link's Oasis. So with that being said, I think this episode has run on long enough, Wind Wakers. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate clicking the subscribe button and please follow me on Twitter at the Scott Spot. With the trading quest out of the way, um, and after I do some decorating with my remaining 1,000 rupees, um, I'm going to. The next episode is actually going to be the start of our next island tour. I know I said that a couple episodes ago, but we've been doing major side quests since then. Uh, yeah, we have the iron boots, the skull hammer. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I feel like there's something else. Oh yeah, the power bracelet. Um, yeah, so we have a bunch of st Oh, and we also did progress um, the story some, so there's some other things that we can do now with all these items. It's not going to be a super long island tour, but it is going to be longer than like the last one that we had, which was super short, I believe. We're going to start by heading to the Forsaken Fortress and check out what it's like now that um, it's been abandoned and getting into Well, not abandoned, but now that um, it got torched. So we'll see what it's like down there, and there is something we need to get there while we're there. So I will just meet you guys there. Thanks again, Wind Wakers. I will catch you for more Wind Waker HD next time on the Scott Spot.